So YouTube, how are you guys doing today? Let me just put this up a little bit, fix my hair. Okay, we're Gucci. But anyways guys, I want to speak to you today about Halloween, okay? And why as a Christian or as a believer you shouldn't celebrate Halloween whatsoever. This is literally the worst thing created by humanity to celebrate Halloween. That's like the devil wants you to celebrate it. He wants it so much because when you dress up like a scary like Freddy Krueger for example or some monster you come as one with darkness you become a part of darkness that way because when you dress like a clown or something scary you know you're representing the images of demons you're representing darkness you know and when you represent that even if you say I'm a believer and so on even when you do this like you could literally be a strong believer whatsoever and if you celebrate that you're still opening a gateway to darkness, to demons to come to you, you know, and the pumpkin, let's say for example the pumpkin, you know, they use it for Halloween, but the face of that scary thing and everything that is on that pumpkin, it actually represents a demon, uh, okay, and uh, I don't know the exact name of that demon, I've only met him once, uh, it's like Hochu or Chu or something like that, I don't even know the exact name of that demon, but that demon actually exists, okay? And this demon controls other demons. He's like in power of our... He's a very, very strong demon, okay? And Satan has given him powers in particularly because he has deceived so many Christians and people to celebrate Halloween, you know? And when you put that pumpkin in your house or you put the mask on or everything or anything like that, you're opening gateways to the demonic world you know for demons to come into your home and to harass you or do whatever or for them to stay and to slowly lead your life astray or they can even hurt you you know they can even hurt you or make you do something bad you know something that you really did not intend on doing um you're just not yourself it possesses you it possesses your home and it drives you and your home like sometimes People on Halloween, I had a friend of mine celebrated it and I told him, bro, don't celebrate that stuff, it's bad, okay? And he ignored me, you know, and he still celebrated Halloween, he dressed up like a monster or whatever and he made the pumpkin and put fire in it and demons came into his home, you know, and he was so angry on that day, he was so depressed. I don't know what happened, he broke up with his girlfriend, he broke his arm on that day because he hit a wall, you know? It just possessed him, the demons, and it will bring a couple of demons straight up to your home. As soon as you put that pumpkin in your home, at your door or at your garden or whatever, you know, it opens satanic gateways. You are, it's like telling the demons, I invite you to my home. Come, you know, I want you to be a part of us. It's like opening the door for them, you know. And you can have your guardian angel and everything with you. But the thing is, it's like when you invite uh put that invitation out demons are not stupid they know everything about you you know absolutely everything because everything in the spirit world world is known and they would know exactly who your guardian angel is okay and they would send enough demons or more powerful demons to outpower your guardian angel and unknowingly you know your guardian angel would probably want you to pray for him and say god for god to give him powers to defeat those demons but what actually happens is like you're unaware of this you're enjoying yourself you're enjoying darkness you're praising it you know and uh you don't want anything to change you know and they'll give you that feeling so they take your focus away from god and so you don't pray for your angel or you're not thinking of god or seeking god's help throughout the celebration you know and that's how demons come and they will attack you really and um that's like how demons will come into your home you know uninvited but um that's the video people it's just a short video uh i would suggest really don't celebrate it um believe me when i tell you these people i'm not making this up or anything like that just don't celebrate halloween if you're a christian why would you want to celebrate monsters in the first place why would you you might say, oh, it's just a vacation, you're a hardcore Christian or something like that. It's true, I am a hardcore Christian. That doesn't mean necessarily that I follow all God's rules, even though I should, you know. I'm not one of those people who tell you, oh, don't do this, you know, like you, you don't have to do this. Like I'm just giving you some advice. 
it's basically you're becoming part of the, with darkness um that's how you ally yourself with it so don't celebrate halloween people it's a satanic satanic thing and that's the de it's like christmas for the devil that's the devil's favorite day on planet earth because he can do whatever he wants to to do on human beings and if you check out some research the most killings and murders per day happen on halloween you know people get drunk people do this and um all satanic man it's all, all satanic and really take care of your kids the most really don't let your kids because demons will come after your kids the most because demons seek, seek the young ones the most because the young ones are easily deceived and if you possess a child the child doesn't know what is going on and the child might end up doing something stupid or the child like the demon can stay with the child for the rest of its life and you wonder like why some kids grow up to be murderers or like they go up shoot up a school or do something crazy you know there's so many different things uh and people just just don't celebrate this this is not a holy day god represents light and as a christian you should seek the light and you should not ally yourself with darkness or surround yourself with any of this but this is the video guys take care and if you're smart please please take my advice into consideration